Racing has always been about innovation and trying to push the boundaries, trying to find ways to do things at the cutting edge, at you know the highest performance level, but doing it in a sustainable way. And sustainability is so at the forefront of everything that we're doing right now in the world that we want to be the best at it and we want to be the innovators. The great thing about the renewable race fuel is that you know, every car on the grid is going to be using it and it's helping to reduce emissions and help with decarbonization, working towards a cleaner future. I thought it was something really cool. The fuel, um, the majority of it is second generation ethanol, which comes from sugarcane waste. And I think about that for a minute. You know, what used to be considered as waste, part of the sugarcane, is now used to produce ethanol. And that comes from our joint venture partner in Ryzen in Brazil. And we combined it with another renewable component that also comes from waste to make up that 100% formulation. This enables a reduction of 60% in greenhouse gas emissions. That will make the IndyCar series the first US-based motorsport series that will be powered by a renewable waste fuel. So, pretty amazing achievement. So the great thing about this renewable race fuel is that there's no performance loss, which is amazing. That was the goal, you know, reliability, drivability, performance. This IndyCar will do about 240 plus miles per hour at Indianapolis, full speed in qualifying trim, which is the fastest we'll see all year. So for me, I'm, I'm proud of it. I love the performance of it. And I think about you know, the future and trying to pave the way. If you're a fan of IndyCar racing, a fan of motorsport, then you can take a ton of pride in, in you know, what we're trying to do to, to provide solutions to do things in a sustainable way. I think it's really a phenomenal result for all of us. Thank you.